right, so we're going to start a new project today. This is a ceramic pedestal bowl uh, with an interesting glaze on it. Not a lot of damage, but um, I wanted to do some videos that didn't involve, you know, thousands of pieces and uh, weeks and weeks of work. Something on uh, a little simpler. So. Here we've got um, a break of uh, five pieces on this edge. And all the little pieces uh, are missing. So there, if, I, if I put these five pieces together in this uh, area right here, then uh, there will be oh, quite a, a few uh, areas that where chips came out of it and they're gone. So, um, for instance, let me tilt this a little bit. Let me see where a piece would go back into place here. You can see there's a lot of area around it where I don't have the parts. So it's like that all across this whole break area. So, We'll show you how we do that. We'll glue these pieces in here and and then we fill around it and uh, smooth all that down and then we recreate this interesting uh, bronzy metallic glaze on here which will be challenging but I'm sure we can do something. So this will be our next project. Okay, now it's a couple days later and we're getting back to our pedestal repair. And I already glued four pieces of this, these broken pieces out, glued them together. And I'm going to add this last piece on here. And then we'll uh, glue this whole section in place on the bowl. So. Okay, so now I want to glue this in place. Okay, we'll let that glue, glue dry overnight and we'll come back and do some fills in the areas where the material is missing. Well, here we are the next day. The uh, pieces I glued in yesterday are secure and so now I'm going to start filling the <clears throat> missing areas, missing pieces in the voids in this. And I'm using a product called Milliput. <clears throat> it's an epoxy putty. And I tend to overfill these bases a little bit so I can plane them down, sand file it down to the surface. And we do all these 
big voids here, plus these little tiny lines that you probably can't see in the camera. But if I don't fill them, you'll be able to see them later. And that's what I'm doing right now. the idea. I'm not gonna sit here and make you I'm not gonna make you sit here and watch all of this. We'll come back when it's when all my fills are filled in. Okay so we're done with our first round of fills here. Uh, it's very likely there might be a second, possibly a third round of these, but this is a preliminary one where we put more fill than we need, and I plane that down to the, uh, the, the original surface. And so we have fills on the front and the back. And we'll come back tomorrow when this is cured and uh, file it down. And uh, what I see then will determine whether I need to put more fills on it or not. So, tune in, tune in tomorrow, same station. Okay, so it's the next day, and uh, the fill we did yesterday, I filed it, filed it down uh, so that this is smooth. And as is typical, it needs a little more fills in it and until it gets... Uh, fully <laughs> filled and smooth but right in here it needs a little fill and right in here and I believe let me show you the back side which is better and the back side looks good it doesn't need any more fills so this is all where it wasn't quite level or there are tiny chips and things missing voids and on the front there were some quite a bit of material missing right along the brake there so I'm just gonna have my milliput and we'll just add a little bit more to that and uh, and then we'll, when that cures we'll clean that down and uh, we'll be back uh, and show you the next stage Okay, so uh, we have done two rounds of fills uh, with the Millipot and uh, now we're ready for paint. So I've got an under color here, it's a very dark brown. dry lighter color and uh, we'll seal that down and then we'll uh, come back and do the finishing metallic glaze on this. Okay, so now we're ready for the gold on this which I'm going to do with a little sponge painting because it's not really a full-on coating. It's uh, a glaze that's sort of spotty here and there. It's like it's worn off, kind of antique -y looking thing. So it's thicker towards the inside of the rim. Huh. 
Well, here we are at the end of our project. Uh, it's all, all of my repairs are complete. And uh, I made this video just to show that not every job we do is some super complicated, uh, heavily damaged repair that uh, you know, takes weeks or months to repair. Sometimes it's uh, uh, only a few pieces. I think this one was like four or five pieces. Uh, but, you know, it's somebody's precious object, and I'm here to repair those things that you think can't be fixed, even though this one was rather easy. Uh, the damaged area was in this segment here, which you can see we pretty much completely repaired, and very economical, and uh, a, a very good repair. And here's the underside get a look at that so um, I think the customer will be very pleased with this and again it's just to show that uh, sometimes it's uh, not a really difficult or complicated job but um, we can still do them so if you like what you see in these videos please subscribe and click on the like button and uh, share with your friends and so I really appreciate you watching these videos. Uh, comments are always helpful. Well, can be helpful. <laughs> if you have any questions about anything we do, I'd be glad to answer them for you. Just put them in the comment section. Thanks. Thanks for watching.